Hi, meet Sabrina from the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. Sabrina, tell us about the Chicago School of Professional Psychology and some of the key highlights and where are the campuses located? I'd be happy to. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. I know it's your evening. The Chicago School of Professional Psychology, which we also call TCSPP, is a nonprofit accredited institution with more than 6,000 students across all of our campuses. We currently have campuses in Southern California, which is on the west coast of the United States. There are three campuses there in Los Angeles, Irvine, and San Diego. And Chicago is our founding campus, which is why the name is the Chicago School. But wherever you go, it's still called the Chicago School. There are just different sites of it. We also have a campus in Dallas, Texas, as well as Washington, D.C. And we have online programs available as well. So how many countries are represented at TCSPP? Tell us something more about the international student population and the students from India. There are over 77 countries represented at the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. And just last fall, we had 48 countries represented in our fall cohort. And we had 127 students start with us just last fall, which is actually a 71% increase in our international enrollment year over year. So we are seeing as an institution a growth in our international student enrollment, which is really exciting. And India actually represents our largest cohort at the Chicago School. So in the fall, we had 25 students from India alone start with us. And they continue to be our largest cohort at the Chicago School with Canada being second. Wow. So what are the general entry requirements for international students from India? So for all of our students, both international and domestic, we of course have the program specific requirements. So for example, a program master's, PhD, or a clinical doctorate program would require three letters of recommendation from supervisors or professionally related positions, academic, et cetera, even volunteer positions. And uh, a course by course transcript evaluation is required for all international applicants. That being said, I wanted to highlight that just two weeks ago, we were approved as an institution to accept three-year degrees from India. And that's huge for us. And it's really exciting for us because previously, students from India who were only uh, evaluated as equivalent to a three-year degree, we had to create a bridge program for, or they had to at least have completed a year of their master's to be eligible for our master's programs. And now the three-year degree is accepted but students are still required to get the transcript evaluation so we can see what the courses are that were completed and the American grade point average equivalency as well. So those are two of the components. Most programs require an essay or some sort of personal statement as well to apply. There is an application form, of course, which is done online. It's, it's quite easy, it takes 10 minutes. I actually recently went through the process myself and got accepted to one of the Chicago School's PhD programs. So I can speak from personal experience and talk you through that application process as an applicant myself. And I did get accepted, which is very exciting. So maybe we'll be students together. And um, other than that, uh, there's an application fee usually of $50, but currently we're waiving it connected to the pandemic, of course, we want to make things as easy as possible for our international applicants. We normally require the graduate record examination for our doctorate in clinical psychology, as well as our post-bachelor's business psychology program, but we are also currently waiving all GRE requirements at this time, which I'm sure puts a lot of people at ease. We want to honor the fact that it's quite challenging to access testing centers right now. The English assessment exam, such as TOEFL or IELTS, is not required for students from India since education there is, is in English. The language of instruction is English. So uh, those are the main components of the application. And of course, any applicant would work closely with myself or someone on our global enrollment team who specializes in international admissions to walk through that process together. Awesome. 
uh, what is the financial support that you offer to international students? We offer what's called the International Student Grant, and that is automatically awarded to any student accepted to the Chicago School. And what's great about that is there's no application requirements. As soon as an international student is accepted to our institution, my department automatically awards the International Student Grant. The, the amount ranges depending on the total cost of the program. Right, if a master's program, it's, it's going to be a lower amount because there are fewer credits versus a PhD program, which is more costly per credit. That being said, it's equivalent to about 10% of the tuition. Additionally, we do have a number of scholarships available, which students can be considered for, depending on their previous academic performance, financial need, or if they are the first in their family to obtain an education. So there are a number of additional funding opportunities which are listed on our institutional aid page. Okay. What are the other academic and other support services that are available to international students? There are quite a few support, uh, support options uh, departments available to all our students, domestic and international, but we do have some special services for international students. The first, of course, is being our department, our global enrollment department. So all of us in the department specialize in working with international applicants and have training and have all lived abroad. We have about six languages spoken in our department alone. And uh, so we are skilled in working with um, intercultural, cross-cultural communication. Additionally, we have student support counselors at every single campus. So once a student starts their program, either on campus or online, they will be assigned a student support counselor. And that person will be their liaison for all departments, all support services across the university. We also have designated school officials at every campus, as well as a principal designated school official who oversees all the designated school officials across those campuses. Additionally, last year we started a new program called the International Student Ambassador Program. So there's an international student ambassador at every campus who can serve as a liaison, a support, someone to reach out to during the application process or once accepted to better understand the international student experience within our institution. We also have a number of mentorship programs at each campus, as well as online. We have a special online mentorship program so that students are well supported, adjusted. If we know it can be a challenging adjustment to go from one education system to another, let alone one country to another. And so we really go out of our way to provide a lot of support. And of course, our faculty are approachable and really are engaging with our students across all campuses, quite approachable, warm, down to earth, and invested in students' welfare and success. something about the CANAM and uh, the Chicago School of Psychology yeah, relationship. I'd love, to, I'd love to speak about CANAM. So we partnering with CANAM, well, as long as I have been with the Chicago School, which has been for two and a half years, it may have been longer uh, before I started, but um, I'm grateful for the partnership because you know, we rely on each other, not just for understanding from a cultural standpoint, but to support the students coming through who are applying to U.S. institutions and who really need people to come together to help support them through the application process, understand U.S. education systems, and for us to understand the needs of our students coming from India. So I'm grateful to have Kanam as a partner and as friends to support each other, especially during this time, but always to, to facilitate the academic support and career opportunities for our international students. Thank you, Sabrina. Thanks so much. I'm sure the students enjoyed listening to all that you had to say about the school. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. I